Spiro Halloween's 2023 animatronics have been revealed. Let's talk about them. For everything scary, I'm GM Haunt, and welcome to the continuation of pandemonium and chaos in the Spira Halloween community. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just yesterday, I uploaded my unboxing of the Spira Halloween 2023 mystery box, and we uncovered this gem of a wooden chest that says Spirit Hollow Cemetery on the front of it. I do not even want to tell you what was inside. Go check out that video. But if you watched that unboxing, there was a letter inside this box, among a lot of other stuff, that gave us the QR code to a brand new page on the Spirit Halloween website. A URL called spirithalloween.com slash spirit hollows. Now, when you go to this website, there is a graphic that says, Welcome to Spirit Hollow Cemetery. And this page provides a ton of brand new information. And because there was so much to it, I said in my video yesterday with my unboxing that I was going to make a part two just talking about the animatronics revealed on this page, as well as the very mysterious and super exciting Welcome to Spirit Hollows video that was included on this webpage. But without any further ado, Let's jump into the Spira Halloween 2023 animatronics. So for the first animatronic revealed for Spira Halloween 2023, this is huge news. My first 2023 spirit animatronic I'm going to be talking about is the 6.6 foot, the Black Heart animatronic. So what we can see here from this tombstone is basically a very simple looking headstone. This one doesn't have a very unique design to it. We can see the drawing or kind of like the resemblance of a heart maybe with some veins going throughout it. The tombstone itself says, here lies the black heart. Be careful about what you wish for. Now, I'm not going to read the description for every single one of these. However, based off my personal opinion, what I'm getting from re reading this description is that the black heart will be a witch animatronic because the way it's kind of written, it seems like she was um, someone who didn't find love and then she found... Um, she climbed into a freshly dug grave in the town cemetery at exactly midnight um, And her it said that her true love would show up at sunrise and revive her with a kiss It very much seems like a witch backstory that's something that will end up turning her into um, a An old kind of creepy witch curious to see if that is what's gonna be maybe something else Maybe I'm understanding this completely wrong again for some of these we are going completely based off of our, our own interpretation of what the description says and also what the title of the name of the animatronic is. I will say the Black Heart is set to retail for $299.99, 300 United States dollars. All right, so next up we have a prop that is guaranteed to be a witch. This is the 3.9 foot, the Cauldronous animatronic. And what we, can, what we can see from the tombstone here is it simply says the Cauldronous. It says, keep your kids close. And there is an emblem of a poison looking bottle, a very kind of standard um, fairy tale, almost poison bottle, like you would see in a in a, a, a kid's tale, like a, an old one with a, a witch in it. So it seems like a very classic witch animatronic for the Cauldronous. I will say that this is actually uh, set to be a $280 prop, and she is only 3.9 feet tall. And I am not exactly sure what I think about that because $280 for a 3.9 foot prop sounds pretty crazy on the crazier side. The, the only thing I can say is, of course, we are not seeing these props. Also, the descriptions are not saying the animations just yet. So, who knows? This could be a Mr. Dark Mechanism servo giant thing. I have no idea. Maybe it's worth the price. I'm just saying, in my personal opinion, being only 3.9 feet and $280 raises a red flag in my mind, personally, but I guess, again, only time will tell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and a tombstone that a lot of people have been waiting for, this is the Creepy Rising Doll flashback. Obviously, since the Halfway to Halloween teaser, the talk of Creepy Rising Doll's possible return has been just going insane because in that teaser, we could hear her her faint laugh in the background of one of the points of Halfway to Halloween uh, teaser video. Now we are seeing she is officially returning for this season as an online only animatronic. I know a lot of people thought she was gonna be in stores. She is online only as we can see from the listing, but then as you can tell, the tombstone has that cracked doll face that we have come to love from the original animatronic. The name is exactly the same. Description is also very similar as to it is Creepy Rising Doll. Alright, and now this is in where my opinion the animatronics start to get really interesting for this year. This is the 4.9 foot Dagger Mike animatronic. Now this guy will be retailing for $169.99, $170 
United States dollars, and as you can see from the tombstone, doesn't give a whole lot. All we have is kind of a generic tombstone for this one, with a cross shape at the top. You can see two daggers crossing over each other, which is uh, very similar to the name of Dagger Mike. And then underneath the name itself, it says no more tricks. Now going based off the description for this animatronic, it mentions how he was never a normal kid um, who liked rats, bugs, knives, creepy clowns, and scaring the heck out of everyone in the neighborhood. It goes on to mention that he became a cute uh, a clown with a cute outfit and two little daggers, and now there are no more tricks. So what I'm getting from this is that this will be a shorter clown animatronic, being only 4.9 feet. He's gonna have two daggers in his hands and a cute clown outfit. Not really sure what that means. That could just be kind of like some flavor text that Spirit is writing in there, but I am interested to see what this is going to look like because we don't see a ton of smaller clowns. Obviously, last year we got Young Crouchy. <laughs> Wasn't a big fan of Young Crouchy myself, so I like that we're getting a unique, um, different, uh, creative like it's not based off something else it's its own thing smaller clown animatronic and again for 170 i don't think that's a terrible price especially once we see what the animation could be for dagger mike but this is definitely one of the more interesting props and this is our first clown of spirit halloween 2023. All right, and next up is another one that we heard a little bit about in the Halfway to Halloween original teaser. This is the seven foot Darling Dolly. Yes, you heard me correctly. Darling Dolly is a seven foot animatronic, and I am not gonna lie. Back when we got that Halfway to Halloween teaser and we first saw her tombstone and pieced the name Darling Dolly together, I was totally expecting a smaller prop, maybe three or four feet tall. And then we're seeing the listing here. He is or she, I'm not even really sure at this point, seven foot animatronic for Darling Dolly. Now, what the thing, the thing that's really interesting about this prop is that based off the description, they're going on to say a story that she was kind of a doll called Darling Dolly, that's what the original name for this made up doll was in the 1930s that little Sally Smith found in the backyard of her new family's home. Basically, the doll ended up being haunted. Um, the mom, it seems like, was actually uh, struck by lightning with the, her steel shovel was struck by lightning, and the, the grave lit up with an eerie blue glow, the, the grave that the mom threw the doll into, and then they were changed, possibly what it seems like they're kind of hinting towards, is they were mute, mutated in a way into one creature, Darling Dolly, now involving the mom and the doll into one giant monster that will be seven feet tall. I'm incredibly shocked to hear how big this prop is going to be, and I will say she's retailing, or he, who knows, uh, I don't know what gender the, the doll itself was, probably a female, will be retailing for $279.99, 280 United States dollars. So following it up with another one we heard about in the Halfway to Halloween teaser, this is Deathstalker, officially standing at 7.3 foot. A 7 foot animatronic with Darling Dolly, now 7.3 feet for the Deathstalker. Now this is of course the exact tombstone we saw in the Halfway to Halloween teaser, except now we are seeing it of course much more clear and also in its full size. The description says, the dust stalker is scratching at your window. He is growling beneath the floorboards and he is the thing hiding under your bed. The death stalker is the, shi the shadow hiding behind the abandoned doll factory. He's clawing his way up the basement stairs, scuttling around in the attic, and breathing down the back of your neck while you waited alone late at night at the bus stop. But most of all, the Death Stalker is hungry. What it seems like based off this description is that the Death Stalker is going to be a very kind of nightmarish monster. That's what I'm getting from it. Is he's very uh, he applies to a lot of different situations where a lot of people would be afraid. That's the kind of creature spirit was going for with that stalker, and I feel like at 7.3 feet tall, that is really going to convey that nightmarish monster look. He also will be retailing for 280 United States dollars for this season, and interestingly enough, Deathstalker is an online-only prop this year. He will not be in stores, he will not be in the themes. He's online-only, which is pretty surprising, because we saw him in Halfway to Halloween teaser, and we would have thought back then that all the props in the teaser were gonna be in stores. However, Deathstalker is online-only. All right, and next up, we have a brand new animatronic that we are hearing about for the very first time now. This is the six-foot Desmodus animatronic. Now, when you first read this, if you're anything like myself, you're probably wondering, is that a name? Desmodus? Like, is it something Spirit came up with? And no. If you actually just Google search the term Desmodus, it'll come up as Vampire Bat. That is a term, I guess, for a Vampire Bat. And then if you fact check that with the tombstone itself, 
It's got vampire wings or bat wings on there. A vampire bat wings. Uh, the description also says some are just born mean. The bloodthirsty bat was born deep in the caves of the rainforest, emerging after years of gorging on sus unsuspecting forest dwellers. So the uh, Desmodus is a real creature that will now be taking the form of a Spirit Halloween animatronic, standing at six feet tall, and he will be retailing for $229.99, 230 United States dollars. I am very interested to see what this guy looks like. We do not see a lot of vampire stuff from Spirit, a lot of like bats and, and things like that. So this could be a very cool animatronic. All right, and next up we have the three foot Eternal Rest animatronic. Another one with a kind of more simple tombstone, the name Eternal Rest is written at the top. You can kind of see a stone Medusa kind of looking face on it with the eyes. You can kind of see part of the nose there. And it says their love was doomed. Now, when you read the description of this one, it kind of has a kind of similar description to the Black Heart, which we took a look at. It's another storyline involving love. And then uh, like a girl is going to maybe be turning into stone, as it says, turned to stone by his heart and grip, his final revenge from beyond this world. Again, like I mentioned with the, the way the tombstone looks, sounds very Medusa to me, like a stone, a person turning to stone uh, based on like a love relationship. That's kind of what I'm thinking this is going to be. I will say we know this is a uh, SLA animatronic manufactured by Soundlight Animatronics, uh, which already means I'm not going to be very excited about it because SLA, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of SLA. They made Tombstone Terror last year, and I have a feeling this one will be kind of similar because it's an only three-foot animatronic. So it's more on the small side. It'll be retailing for $139.99, 140 United States dollars for the Spirit of Halloween 2023 season. All right, and next up is yet another flashback animatronic for this year. This is the Grave Watcher coming back from Spirit of Halloween 2013, the Pan-Asian Creations. Grave Watcher prop will be returning for this season. I feel like it makes a lot of sense with it being Spirit Hollow Cemetery ISC, and she's a Grave Watcher. Even the way she looks, she'll fit very well into the ISCs. Um, I don't have a ton to say about her. We do know she's being manufactured by YJ this year. Interesting, because obviously, like I just said, she was originally Pan Asian Creations pack back in 2013. She will now be YJ um, for 2023, and she'll be retailing for $79.99. 80 United States dollars for the 2023 season. All right, and next up, we have another new clown animatronic for this year. This is the 6.6 .6 foot Heckles animatronic. Now, based on this is listing, this is not called Heckles the Clown. His name is just Heckles, which I kind of like because there's been a lot of whatever the clown names recently. This guy's name is just Heckles. Now, the thing that's really interesting about this clown in particular is that it keeps bringing up, you can see this on his tombstone. There's actually like a big piece taken out of his tombstone, but you can still see the uh, emblem there. Also, in the description, it says how he hustles balloons for a few bucks. So, my prediction is that Heckles will be a clown holding a couple balloons in his hand, which I'm super excited for, because I have always thought about a clown holding balloons um, as an animatronic idea, and we have never really seen it, except for, of course, Pennywise from Spirit that was manufactured by Crazy Crate, but that was officially licensed. He only held one balloon. Now we are seeing an original animatronic holding, hopefully, a bunch of balloons, because what we can see from the, the tombstone is like, five or six balloons, so I'm hoping he just has like a fistful of balloons. That would be really awesome, especially if they were all different colors. It could be very, very cool. Sometimes the balloons, um, like the Crazy Crate one, didn't look very realistic because they weren't, of course, made out of like a real plastic balloon material. They were made out of like something different so that they would last and hold air in them. Now, Heckles will be retailing for $279.99, 280 United States dollars. I don't know if I already mentioned he's going to be 6.6 .6 feet tall. And here we have one of the more expensive animatronics of this season, as well as one of the ones I am most excited to see. This is the 4.9 foot Hell Spawn animatronic. Now, the reason I am so excited to see what this thing is going to look like is because we rarely, rarely see devil or hell satanic kind of animatronics from Spirit, and I understand why we don't, and the fact that we're seeing this now is honestly pretty surprising to me. When I saw the name for this guy and read his description and saw how it actually mentions Satan himself and how he comes from hell, this animatronic, and how he kind of sold his soul, I was really surprised to see that Spirit was actually going to be going in this lane for at least one animatronic this year, and I'm super excited to see what he will end up looking like. We can see from the tombstone two horns, very devil-looking horns. I'm sure that he will, this animatronic, Hellspawn, will have those horns on him and the uh the little title underneath there on under underneath the name says even the devil needs a hand so this is kind of meant to be a devil's advocate that's also what we're getting from the description here uh, i also really enjoy the name hellspawn so different so creative so unique 
I feel like some of the names this year are a little bit weird. Hellspawn is very, very good. I will say something that I'm curious to see where this goes. He is 4.9 feet tall, but will be retailing for $329.99, 330 United States dollars. Now, again, that's kind of a big gap between the height and the price tag, so maybe this guy will have some kind of crazy animation or maybe some really crazy looks to him because he isn't the biggest prop, but he does have a big price tag. So I'm curious to see what this guy looks like, what the animation will be, and just to see everything related to the 4.9 foot hell spawn. All right, and next up is another one of my most excited animatronics for this season. After we saw this listing, this is definitely one of the ones on my priority watch list. This is the officially licensed six foot leather face, but not just Leatherface animatronic, the Pretty Woman Mask variant. Now, you're probably thinking right now, what? Another Leatherface animatronic? And the answer is yes. Obviously, I have not done a video yet on the Party City animatronic reveals. I'm going to be doing that very soon, though. Of course, Party City has just released that they also have a Leatherface animatronic right after a couple of months ago. We found out that Lowe's has a Leatherface animatronic being manufactured by Jemmy. Now we are seeing Jemmy has one being sold at Lowe's. There is a, a techie one being sold at Party City. And now there is a Leatherface animatronic being sold uh, at Spirit, but it, it is the Pretty Woman variant, and it will be manufactured by Party Time. Now, if you're not familiar, the Pretty Woman Leatherface is also in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974. However, it is a different version of Leatherface. It's a different mask that he wears, and he only wears it for a specific portion of the movie. Now, this prop will be retailing for $349.99, $350 United States dollars for this season, so definitely one of the highest prices, highest price props. That's a, a mouthful to say. So next up, we have another new clown animatronic, and this is the 4.2 foot Poor George animatronic. Now, this is one of the clowns I am very, very excited to see what it'll end up being, because it says in the description, George was a happy clown. Goes on to say how he made the kids laugh, the parents smile, and kept the circus happy, but he was actually hit with a cable car that, quote, Sliced him in half. Now, what could that possibly mean for an animatronic? Honestly, I have no idea, and that's why I'm so excited to see what this is going to be. We know this is only a 4.2 foot animatronic, so more on the shorter side of the props this year. I don't think this is going to be a half body prop, especially a half body clown, because we just saw Lucky Bottoms last year, who of course is a half body clown. All we know right now is that he is another clown and that he'll be retailing for $179.99, 180 United States dollars for this season. So poor George. 180 bucks. All right, and next up is another clown animatronic, and this is an officially licensed clown. You know what that means. This is the 7.2 foot slim animatronic from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, obviously, this is super exciting because Shorty was released by Spirit back in 2021, and then he came back last year, and the people, haunters have been wondering, and general consumers, will there be more of the Killer Clowns created and sold at Spirit, and it looks like one more will be sold this season, and that is Slim, standing at a big 7.2 feet tall, which is awesome, another very tall animatronic, sold at Spirit this year, uh, the tombstone, very interesting, because it kind of has like three moons on it, just says here lies Slim, doesn't have like a little catchphrase, now when you hear the price tag of this guy, you're probably going to be pretty shocked, Slim will be retailing for $399.99, 400 United States dollars, for Spirit Halloween's 2023 40th anniversary season, which I mean, yes, is kind of crazy when you first think about it, but I can under I can understand it because first of all, he's 7.2 feet tall, huge animatronic. Second of all, he's officially licensed, so that's gonna factor into the cost. Third of all, he's probably gonna have a good amount of animation to make him accurate to the movie, so it makes sense why he's the most expensive animatronic that we know of as of right now. And I guess to end the animatronics with a bang, we have the 7.9 foot stilts animatronic. I mean. 7.9 feet tall. There are so many tall animatronics this year. It is kind of astonishing to me. We haven't seen like giant, giant props from Spirit uh, in a long time, especially not in like one singular season. Now we're seeing so many like seven foot or over props this year, which is wild. And this is one of them. 7.9 feet, just about eight foot for the stilts animatronic. Now, what we can see from the tombstone itself is a bowling pin. And then if you read the description, it says how juggling was this clown's act. Uh, the 10 pin juggling act. So you, you can't you can't help but think, will the stilt animatronic be holding 10 separate pins? That would be pretty wild. If there's just a, a giant clown standing at 7.9 feet tall, holding 10 pins at one time somehow. Now this guy, stilt, will be uh, retailing 
for $349.99, $350 United States dollars, which I feel like makes sense. Uh, basically, an 8-foot animatronic should definitely be up there in the price tag, and I feel like that also means that he'll have some cool animation built in as well for being $350. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. All of the revealed animatronics for Spirit Halloween 2023 as of the current moment. I cannot believe all this is happening so early. The 40th anniversary from Spirit is being kicked off in an amazing way, so incredibly early with some incredible marketing with all the animatronic names being revealed, as well as this absolutely awesome mystery box being sent out to some different uh, Halloween haunters in the community. Again, if you haven't seen my unboxing, of this, what I'm holding right now, of the Spirit of Hollow Cemetery chest. Definitely go check out that video as soon as this one finishes up. But I guess, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I'll see you guys later for more Spirit of Halloween 2023 videos. Goodbye.